Hello fellow gardeners and soil enthusiasts, welcome back to the Humus Heritage, where we dig deep into the wisdom of the past to cultivate a more abundant future. Today, we're uncovering a forgotten agricultural secret that transformed barren landscapes into thriving gardens, long before the first bag of synthetic fertilizer ever hit the market. If you've been battling disappointing harvests, weak plants or soil that just won't seem to hold nutrients no matter how much compost you add, what I'm about to share might completely revolutionize your approach to soil building. Ancient farmers discovered something extraordinary about bones, and modern science is finally catching up to their brilliance. The Compost Conundrum When Good Isn't Good Enough Let me be honest with you. Composting is wonderful, essential even, but it's not the complete answer we've been led to believe. Many dedicated gardeners faithfully turn their compost piles, wait months for that black gold to develop, and spread it generously across their beds, only to find their results frustratingly inconsistent. The truth is that conventional compost, while excellent for adding organic matter and feeding soil life, often falls short in delivering specific mineral nutrients that plants desperately need for vigorous growth and abundant harvests. Phosphorus deficiency, calcium shortage and micronutrient gaps can persist even in compost-rich soils, leaving your tomatoes with blossom and rot and your root vegetables stunted and disappointing. The nutrient profile of compost varies wildly depending on what went into the pile, and most kitchen scraps and yard waste simply don't contain the mineral density required for truly exceptional plant performance. This is where our ancestors had a distinct advantage, and it's time we learned from their approach. Unearthing Ancient Wisdom, The Bone Soil Revolution Imagine walking through the Amazon rainforest where the typical soil is notorious for being nutrient-poor and acidic, barely capable of supporting agriculture for more than a season or two before farmers must move on. Yet scattered throughout this challenging landscape are patches of incredibly dark, fertile soil that have remained productive for over 2,000 years. These are the famous Terra Preta sites, and archaeological evidence reveals that ancient Amazonian farmers deliberately created this miracle soil by incorporating charred bones, pottery fragments, and organic residues into their fields. This wasn't accidental or random. These were sophisticated agricultural engineers who understood that animal bones, when processed correctly, could unlock extraordinary fertility that would last for generations. Similarly, Native American tribes across North America were documented by early European settlers as placing fish heads, bones, and entire carcasses into their corn mounds, producing harvests so abundant that colonists initially couldn't believe such yields were possible without European farming techniques. From China to the Mediterranean, ancient farmers recognized bones not as waste, but as precious soil-building materials that contained something their crops craved intensely. So, let's dive into the science behind the success, why bones are considered gardening gold. When we analyze bones chemically, we discover why ancient farmers valued them so highly. Bones are primarily composed of calcium phosphate, a mineral complex that provides two of the most critical nutrients for plant health in a form that's honestly, remarkably stable and long-lasting. Phosphorus which makes up about 15 to 20 percent of bone material, is absolutely essential for root development, flowering, seed formation, and energy transfer within plant cells. Without adequate phosphorus, plants remain stunted with purplish leaves and will produce minimal fruits or vegetables. Calcium, comprising roughly 25 percent of bone composition, strengthens cell walls, improves disease resistance, and prevents common disorders like blossom end rot in tomatoes and peppers. Beyond these primary minerals, bones contain magnesium, zinc, iron and other trace elements that plants need in smaller quantities but are equally vital for optimal health. What makes bone-based amendments truly exceptional is their slow-release mechanism. Unlike synthetic fertilizers that flood the soil with soluble nutrients that quickly wash away with the first few rains, the mineral matrix in bones breaks down gradually through microbial action, 
and mild soil acids, releasing nutrients steadily over months and even years. This creates a sustained fertility that doesn't spike and crash but rather maintains consistent nutrient availability throughout multiple growing seasons. It's pretty amazing how this system works over time, isn't it? The processing methods used by ancient farmers further enhance these benefits. When bones are charred at high temperatures, they transform into bone char, a highly porous material similar to biochar. This not only releases nutrients slowly, but also creates microscopic habitats for beneficial soil microorganisms while improving water retention and soil structure. It's fascinating how these old techniques still hold so much value today. This porous carbon structure acts like a sponge, holding onto nutrients and water that would otherwise leach through the soil profile. Then, it releases them gradually as plants need them. It's a clever way to ensure that plants get what they need, exactly when they need it. The pH neutralizing effect of bone char also helps balance acidic soils, creating conditions where nutrients become more available to plant roots. Modern soil science has confirmed what ancient farmers knew intuitively. Bone amendments create a self-sustaining fertility cycle where nutrients remain accessible to plants while soil biology thrives and multiplies. So how can you harness this ancient wisdom in your own garden today? The most accessible option for home gardeners is bone meal, which you can purchase at any garden center or online supplier. This is simply ground steamed bones that have been processed to eliminate any potential pathogens while preserving the mineral content. For best results, work bone meal into your soil before planting at a rate of about 5 to 10 pounds per 100 square feet, or, you know, mix it directly into transplant holes for heavy feeding crops like tomatoes, peppers, and squash. The steaming process eliminates concerns about attracting pests, though, honestly, burying it several inches deep provides extra assurance. For those interested in maximizing the benefits, bone char offers even greater long-term value. You can create your own by burning clean bones in a covered container with limited oxygen, similar to making biochar, or if you prefer, purchase commercially produced bone char. Mix it into your soil at similar rates to bone meal and you'll enjoy not just the nutrient benefits but also the soil structuring advantages that made terra preta so legendary. If you raise chickens, rabbits, or other livestock, or if you save bones from cooking, you're sitting on a gold mine of garden fertility. Collect bones throughout the year and you can either grind them into meal after steaming them in a pressure cooker or char them in a burn barrel. Some gardeners even bury larger bones directly in established perennial beds where they'll break down slowly over several years, continuously feeding long-lived plants like fruit trees and berry bushes. The key consideration is ensuring bones are clean and properly processed to avoid any sanitation concerns. Always test your soil pH before applying bone amendments, as they work best in slightly acidic to neutral soils where phosphorus remains available. In highly alkaline soils above pH 7.5, phosphorus can become locked up and unavailable to plants, so you might need to address pH first or choose alternative amendments. The implications of rediscovering bone-based soil amendments extend far beyond our backyard gardens. So, modern industrial agriculture is actually facing a pretty big phosphorus crisis. The thing is, the easily mined phosphate rock deposits that we rely on for making synthetic fertilizers are running out fast. Some experts estimate that we could exhaust the economically viable sources in, well, just the next 50 to 100 years. At the same time, millions of tons of animal bones from meat processing facilities are just ending up in landfills or maybe getting rendered into these low-value products when honestly, they could be used to transform depleted farmland back into productive soil. Now, forward-thinking agricultural researchers and sustainable farming operations are starting to look into industrial-scale bone amendment programs. These could actually help create a circular nutrient economy. Basically, returning those minerals to the soil to feed the next generation of crops, instead of just mining more and more from our limited geological deposits. 
I encourage you to experiment with bone amendments in your own garden this season. Give it a try and see what happens. Start with a test bed, document your observations, and compare your results against areas using only conventional amendments. It's all about learning and adapting. You might be amazed at the difference in root development, flowering intensity, and overall plant vigor. This is more than just adding fertilizer, it's about nurturing life. You're participating in an agricultural tradition that spans millennia, rebuilding soil fertility in a way that's sustainable, effective, and connected to the wisdom of countless generations who fed themselves from the land. If you found this information valuable and want to continue learning these time-tested gardening secrets, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Share this video with fellow gardeners who are ready to take their soil to the next level and drop a comment below sharing your experiences with bone amendments. Together, we're not just growing gardens, we're preserving and reviving the agricultural heritage that can feed us sustainably for generations to come. Until next time, keep digging deep and growing strong.